So I do have some bad news to share. On June the 21st, less than a month away from now, days are going to start getting shorter again. I know I'm not too happy about it either, but have you ever noticed that the warmest, nicest days of summer actually happen a month or so after the summer solstice? Why is that? It has to do with something called seasonal lag, and we're going to demonstrate that uh, using a pot of water and a burger and a thermometer. See, Earth is covered about two thirds with water, and it takes some time for that water to heat up. So look at the thermometer right now, and you can see the temperature of this water is warming up to about 130, 140, 140 degrees. Watch what happens when I take this off the burner. Look at the thermometer. It continues to get warmer even after it's off the heat. It has to do with the heat capacity of water, and this is exactly what's happening in our atmosphere. The warmest days of summer actually happen about a month or so after the summer solstice. And on the other end, the same principle is held for the winter solstice. About December th uh, 21st, the coldest days of the year happen uh, during the month of January and early February. It's called seasonal lag, and we will experience it later on this season.